Hi all, thanks for watching. This is the 86th video in my Kingdom Come Deliverance playthrough. We just finished a woman's slot, so I'm going to get back in the game and get started, see what we have available. Okay, so we're back to Henry now. And, of course, we've got the main quest, but I want to see what's available out there. Uh, got some more DLCs that we could work on. There's the main quest there. Now, I've got the Judgment quest in Privislavich. And, let's see, anything else? Okay, there's the quest in the glade here. And there's the Miller quest there. Not much else. All right, let's start off. We'll go talk to Teresa quick. Let's see, what's my nourishment at? 99, so I'm all good. Have you come to rescue me, Sir Knight? I've got something that needs stitching up. Could you do it for me? All right. I can't have you walking around in torn rags, can I? Show it here. All right. Let's ask her about going out on a walk. Because before I had kind of the fixed cutscene had gotten to, I guess, the end of what we could do. But now that I've done the DLC, a woman's lot, let's see if that changes. Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? I'd love to. Okay, so we're going somewhere different now. Actually, we're going quite far. You know, it's funny, the time doesn't change when you're traveling with her. Now, if I had been traveling myself, fast traveling, it would be in the late afternoon by now, with the distance we've gone. That was quite a long way. So, are you going to tell me why we came here? Here? Here's where my brother is. Oh. I didn't realize. Sorry. I wanted to come back here, but I was afraid to come alone. Oh, very wise. It's still not safe in these parts. Sometimes I think it was my fault. If only I'd done more for him, he might still be alive. If we'd left the mine during the night with Matthew and the others, maybe it would all have ended differently. Well, maybe, but I doubt it. You said yourself that Samuel wouldn't have managed the journey. You did everything you could for him. And if you'd left during the night, you wouldn't have saved my life. I know. It's just so hard sometimes. I know I did everything, but it wasn't enough. How could God let it happen? I'd say God had nothing to do with what happened to Scalitz. You're not to blame for anything. It's the war and all the futility and suffering around it that's to blame. Henry, I'll never forget Samuel and Stebor and Papa, and I'll never be able to accept the injustice of it all. But I still have you. I love you, Teresa. I know. Thanks for walking with me, Henry. And for everything else I couldn't manage without you all right so it looks like we we've gotten some new cutscenes with her so I'll have to come back and actually talk to her again in a while see um, if we go somewhere else that cutscene seems to be related to the events of a woman's lot, so I guess that that's part of the reason why now we're getting these new cutscenes. So it's interesting to see how the, the game changes. All 
All right. Here we are. Thanks for stopping by, Henry. My pleasure. So I guess I'll head up to Rivslavich first. No, I guess I'll just head for the Glade first here. Talk to Andrew. Foe. Okay, let's stop and see what this is about. What? Now we'll have another bout. I won't be robbed of my winnings by some lousy green horn. You're Who's dead. It? Oh. No! Away from my horse. This is that guy. Oh, this is that guy from the tournament. Come and get it. That was that knight from the tournament. Oh, I'm poisoned. He was using poison. Okay, what do I got? Do I have anything that'll... Against poison.
Okay. That's not really going to help me, but... Might as well... These out of the way. Okay. Special sword strikes. Slash slash stab. want to move some of this stuff over to the horse. Actually, how full is the horse? Okay, not bad. Bane potion. Oh, so that's what he used on that other guy. Dead men tell the blacksmith about being ambushed. I'll have to use a Lazarus potion. Let's see, I've got one potion left. Let's see if I have any antidote or anything. Walking so slow. Can help me. I have nothing here that I can use to cure myself. Oh, I'm gonna die. my other potion but might just give me enough on heal I think you heal a bit faster with the marigold poison potion so if I keep taking those till this bane potion wears out
So this must be how he killed the blacksmith's son. Another one of those. It's gonna be close. Just survive. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, we made it. There, now the miracle potion is working. It works a bit faster than that Lazarus potion. It's the first time I've been poisoned, really, other than food poisoning. Do I have any more miracle potions? Well, that was unexpected. Okay, so it looks like we have a quest now. So we want to go up and tell that blacksmith right there. So he must have uh, done the same thing to the blacksmith's son. God save, what can I do for you? You were saying about Black Peter. I think I can tell you what happened to Svatopluk. Really? The fact that he died just after beating Black Peter and winning the tourney was no coincidence. So it was that bastard. Yes, Black Peter lay in wait and ambushed me. He's a nasty piece of work. But the thing is, he had some kind of poison on his weapon, so I reckon he might have poisoned your son. The signs you spoke of point to it. Merciful God, I knew it. But how did you get away from the fucker? Did you kill him? That was no match for me. I sent him straight to hell where he belongs. Thank you. Yeah, it won't bring my boy back, but it gives me some peace to know you avenged his death. Here, take this. It's not much, but it's all I have. I'd like to discuss the price. 
Well, we can try it. Aye, that would do it. Okay. So I was kind of disappointed with the way that blacksmith one turned out after the tournament. So I guess you had to have that ambush in order to get the evidence that you needed. So I actually... That outcome actually is a lot nicer now, knowing that you were able to let the blacksmith know what happened to his son. Okay, so where are we now? Herbalist, unexplored place. Okay, let's go out to the herbalist here. See if she's got some Lazarus potions. Yeah! too far. It shows it as unexplored, so I'm wondering if I've actually been to this one. Fine. out to see this one before. God watch over you, good night, especially in these dark times. Can I do something for you? Good luck, Ben. She's got a Bane potion. Take that book. Okay, any Lazarus? We don't see any. Hmm. I don't know if I know this one. Oh, a treasure map. That. Seller my dandelions. And that should be good. Can we do something about the price? Hmm. All right, so... All right, so. So no Lazarus potions, but she did have a couple of things that were, well, a few things. Okay, so where are we? Oh, we're actually way over here. Okay, let's head up to Privislavich, I guess, to our daily judgment. Oh, it's almost night. Oh, 
No, that's too bad. I was hoping I'd get there earlier in the day. Peasants, on your way, you have not upon a pan of armed peasants. Okay, let's see what they're up to. Well, well, who's this coming here? I never set eyes on him in my life. No doubt one of those fucking troublemakers who's been going around murdering and thieving. We'll have none of that here. Talking about nice. I don't want to surrender to you guys. Blood will be spilled. Still chasing me. They must be pretty quick where our sir dog is. Yeah, it's the dog, I can hear it. How far will this thing chase me? Yeah. Okay, there we go. So let's go in, we'll rest up till morning, and then do the judgment. Let's see what do we got for money in the chest here. 13k. Alright, lots of money. We'll just rest up here, let the game save our progress, so if anything happens, I don't end up back at Teresa or something. End up having to fight that guy. No, I guess I would end up back at the blacksmith, but still, that's a fair ways back. Alright, so the game's all saved. So we'll go take care of that judgment. Wonder what it'll be today. A few of these are kind of funny. We did 
did get a baker out of one. So we got another skilled tradesman. So let's see what's up today. There's another unpleasant matter for you to handle. Nothing too terrible, I hope. That's for you to decide, Master Bailiff. As you know, the woods and everything in them belong to our liege lord. He gave you the right to make use of them. But as far as I know, no one else is allowed to hunt there. Yeah, let me guess. Some of our fold are putting game on their tables from our woods, and I have to deal with them. Just so. A case like this ought to be judged by his lordship himself, but I fear Sir Divish might be a little too strict in this matter. So what are my options? You can hand the poachers over to justice, let them off with a warning, or, of course, one can always turn a blind eye and leave it in the hands of God. What's your decision? Hmm. Okay, so I haven't really passed any laws for the surrounding area, but I guess I should. So, we won't punish them, but we'll make a law, so I'll have some strong words with them. We'll confiscate the poached game and put the fear of God into the culprit so they don't do it again. No point in carrying it any higher. We should keep our own affairs in order. A wise decision, Henry. I'll see to it. Okay, so poaching bin. There we go. Yeah, I can't really punish them for something that I hadn't passed as a law, but seeing as the lord of the land would actually punish them, I guess I that was probably the best choice. And I got reputation for it, so it seemed okay. Right. Actually... Let's get this equipment off the horse. And we'll sell it here. if any of this is better than mine. Let's just go through it quick. No, it doesn't look that way. Oh, is he not out here yet? I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. How are you getting on here, Master Swordsmith? I'd completely forgotten how pleasant it is to work in a village. I don't miss the stink of the town drains. That I can tell you. Goodbye. See you later. No, he doesn't buy too much. Okay, so what's he got here? Decent sword. Yes, he has these pieces for the horse. Let's see, he had that metal one. Yeah, right there. Let's talk about the price. Well, we can try it. All right, so. Excellent. Okay, and we got that piece of armor for the ho horse here. So where is that? I guess I'll just store the other stuff. Okay. Excellent.
really I'm overloaded. Okay. So I guess we'll just go back up to our chest quick, get everything off the horse and empty out what we can here. Yeah. grabbing armor. Okay, that looks pretty good. See anything else here? All right, I'd say we're good. So I guess next, Andrew. So the Glade. See what he's up to. Okay, good. It's early in the day, so. Let's see, ambush. Unknown armed man. noises. Okay, let's continue on. Okay. day. Would you have a job for me? Maybe you're in need of some supplies? Hmm. Fresh meat. No problem. I can go to Ratai and buy some for you. I could send the stable boy for that. I'm talking about game. Game? But that's near impossible to buy. I'd have to hunt it myself. And that's against the law. <laughs> ah. Of course, I'd pay you well for anything you bring me, even more if it's something you particularly want. And if you help me out here and there, 
I'll teach you something useful in return. Well, that's an interesting proposition. Are you after some meat? Certainly. I'm expecting a traveling merchant who loves venison from roe deer. I'll be mighty grateful if you brought me some fresh stuff. Okay, so what's this quest? Delicacies. Bring road deer meat. Oh, he only wants ten? <laughs> oh, look at that. Awesome. You are, and good health. So I've got some armor for the horse now. Okay. So let's see, where can we find some row? Oh, right over there. Not too far off. Yeah. <laughs> I just passed judgment on hunters for doing this. Here I am, I go straight out and start hunting. But I mean, I am a master huntsman for Telmberg, so I guess it's okay. So let's see. Ah, right behind me. So they should be through this area here. See if we can't find some. Only thing with hunting is it's kind of hit and miss. No pun intended. I mean, uh, like actually finding the what you're looking for right off the bat is usually kind of like you might run into them right away, you might not. Oh, I've gone all this way already. Cutter. I've noticed a lot of the time they wander around the camps, so I might get lucky here. I know for the amount of meat that he wants, I only need one. Find one.
Oh, there we go. There we go. Excellent. I've got the meat you wanted. Great. Nothing like the aroma of fresh game. Here you are. You've earned your groschen. Are you after some meat? I've run out of boar meat. It's a nuisance. Folk come here from far and wide for my boar gulag. If you could bring me some, I'd make it worth your while. Okay, boar meat. Boar nearby. Tall deer. Let's see. Way over here. Okay, so how much does he want? Ten. Doesn't want much, considering. Yeah. Yeah. This doesn't look like an accident. People don't just hang from trees. Let's see if we can't find some boar. Hopefully this one will be quick.
Now I'm never sure if the horse actually scares them off or or not, because you do see some oh you do see rabbits and stuff when you're riding your horse. Okay, let's see, grab the spade. Didn't expect this. Oh, so it looks like it's a loot grave. Let's see, what do we have here? There's a rabbit. Just in case he asks. Rabbit. I'll have some on hand. Okay. Let's see if we can't find some boar. in the forest should be somewhere around here. Oh, what's that? There we go. Stop, stop, stop. Excellent. Okay. I guess I'll move some of this over. Burdened. There we go. Okay, put my bow away and head back over to the glade. I've got the meat you wanted. Great. Nothing like the aroma of fresh game. Here you are. You've earned your groschen. Are you after some meat? Indeed. I was going to do hair and cream sauce. I've got everything I need, except the hair. Excellent. I've got the meat you wanted. Good thing I went after the hair. Great. Nothing like the aroma of fresh game. Here you are. You've earned your groschen. And as I promised, I'll teach you something. I'd like, a beer. I'd like to learn to fight better with an axe. Certainly. 
Well, I'll think it over. Okay, well, there's no need holding on to the rest of this stuff. Let's grab that. And we'll sell off everything we have here to Andrew. Okay, how much money you got? 153, really. Sixty-three. There we go. All right, so that looks like that's it for quests. Unless I want to do some pickpocketing and stuff. What's this? DLC. And a DLC over here. Okay, let's head back, I guess. Which is closest? About the same. Okay, let's head over and see what that one is. So I'll make sure I'm mounted up here. And I'll have to move a few things over to the course. There we go. Actually, what time is it? It's the closest town. That's go. Okay, let's head to the Ladesh go quick. Hopefully I can make it there and it won't be too late and I can sell some more of this meat to the tavern there. Okay, excellent. Need you have. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. What's happening around here? Nothing much, thank God. Peace and quiet is a blessing in this day and age. May the Lord watch over you. 266. Okay, a bit more money.
There we go. That's pretty close. Okay. Oh. Didn't want to call the horse. Actually, let's see if you'll buy some. Good day. Got 5.3k. Excellent. Got here. Pressure map XX. I've done that one. Excellent. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go in and rest up and finish up the video here. And in the next video, we'll check out that DLC. Seeing as we've gone through most of our quests now and try and get what's left of the DLCs out of the way. Then finally work on the main quest there. So hopefully you did enjoy the video, and if there are any questions, just leave them in the comment section below, or any comments, leave those in the comment section below. As always, thanks a lot for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.